All right. Well, tomorrow's Halloween, and it will be a very special one for a local family. We first met them two years ago. As our Alexandria Hoff shows you, the parents are not letting a medical issue stop their son from trick-or-treating. There is no dashing out to a store to pick up a costume, no borrowing a hat or painting on a mustache. I had to weld supports for the flooring. This Halloween prep comes down to metal, wood, and sweat. This little pirate here, Brian, is about to turn three years old, and he suffers from developmental delays, but his parents refuse to let that hold him back. Luckily, at my job, we were able to learn some welding. For the past two Halloweens, Dad, Brian Southry, has designed and built elaborate moving costumes so Brian can join his sister in trick or Treating. First, it was an X Wing fighter, and last year, a perfect replica of a tank. And this isn't the first time I've met this family. In February of 2016, I spoke to them after baby Brian, just two months old at the time, suddenly stopped breathing. We're thankful that we had the outcome we did. The reason? Galloway police officer Kevin Jorgensen just so happened to be in the media area and responded to the 911 call and by chance had just gone through updated CPR training. He opened his eyes so quick, like this that I'm like, did he just open his eyes? I couldn't believe it. Officer Jorgensen was able to revive little Brian and the families have remained close, but those minutes without air likely took a toll. We haven't really come to an answer or a true diagnosis um, that encompasses everything. But come trick or treating time, this family forgets all about that and Brian will parade around his town like any other kid. Well, any other kid with his own pirate ship. We started probably like the end of August, so about month, two months. After weeks of work by his dad, baby Brian will be sitting pretty aboard this custom pushable cruiser complete with a moving sail. In Galloway, Alexandria Hoff, CBS3 Eyewitness News.